Well, the time has finally arrived to check out my new 8mm film scanner I bought from Amazon. Uh, hopefully it's going to be better than the disappointing Kodak reels that I had a few months ago. Uh, this retails $299.99 and I've waited until it went on sale and I picked it up to two for $249.96 and it's supposedly brand new has four stars on the reviews uh, so we'll see what happens we're gonna go ahead and open it up now and see what's inside I've not been in it at all this is all brand new unrehearsed There's your take up reel. Power supply, looks like, and probably a couple other little accessory pieces. <laughs> and a manual. And here it is. Nicely wrapped in the bubble wrap. Okay, there it is. There is quite a bit different from the Kodak, as the Kodak had. A 5 inch screen on it this one's like a 2.3 inch I think and the Kodak both reels were on swing out arms and I think that's part of the problem that it was probably driven by a belt or something from the motor and that had a tendency to fail in no time and this is supposedly a direct drive right off of the motor so we'll see how that goes and I'll be back here in just a moment with a little bit closer look at it all right here's everything laid out that was with it uh, let's see we've got of course the take up reel uh, cloth for cleaning the the imager head uh, let's see, these are adapters for if you have a Hi8, uh, because the Hi8 films, uh, the spool is going to be larger than what's on the regular 8. And of course, the power supply, uh, USB to a mini USB, not micro, and then a video cable. And that's it. Uh, so we'll take another look at it here. Okay, here on the front and at the bottom, you've got your film size selectors, either 8mm or the Super 8, and we'll be using 8mm. And up above that, your film tray. And if you flip open the tab, and you see there's little, little notches underneath, you'll fit, feed the film through here. Uh, you got your little, the film path guidelines to go around these little spools up here you got your screen your monitor and then all your controls for adjusting brightness and different things like that and here looking down from the top you see on these buttons you got your main power button uh, menu backwards and forwards and then your select or start stop button and here on the back of it you've got your USB slot uh, your main TV out 
and a slot for a USB card and I believe they say 32 gigabytes is the maximum you can put in it and of course in here is your 12 volt power supply here's all the films that I'm going to be converting hopefully and also my wife has some of her family movies that are on large I don't know if they're gonna be five or seven inch reels but we will try those out at some point take a look at this one here 1972 and 73 this little three inch reel will take approximately 30 minutes to go through and scan okay now we're gonna set this thing up see if we can make a movie here I'll go ahead and get the power here and I got a SanDisk little 32 gigabyte SD card should go in right there okay that should finish up all the work on the back of the scanner then we'll go okay we're going to get started here and first put the take up reel on if I can find it go there we go clicks in place and here's our Christmas of 72 and 73 and also summer that we rented a houseboat on Lake Lanier and as you can see follow the dotted line going around the spool here and right on there it goes 